Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, we'll be finally getting the firmware update for the LG 27GN950 in order to bring the refresh rate up to 160 hertz. So uh, when this launched and when they advertised it way back in, I want to say CES of 2020 at the beginning of the year, uh, they advertised this as 160 hertz overclockable. Uh, and then when it came out in August and September, it topped out at 144 hertz so um, a software update or a firmware update is finally out and we should be able to enable through the on-screen control 160 hertz so let's go ahead and do that so there is something you need to know about this um, first of all you do need to upgrade your display port cable apparently the one that came with the monitor itself from lg uh, is just not suited for the job of 160 hertz so uh, thanks to user light moisture on reddit but they posted on reddit uh, with the help of a couple others um, that you basically need to upgrade your display port cable they have a link to one that they certified works uh, this is the one that i ordered six foot cable came in at 16 or 17 bucks so um, you know choose your length order that cable and you should be good to go from here on out um, so Thank you, Light Moisture. Let's go ahead and get started with this video. So if you don't already have the Windows on-screen control program from LG, uh, install on your computer as well as the USB type B to USB type A port or a cable uh, to connect your monitor to your computer. Um, you'll need both of those. So connect the cable, download this software. Uh, I'll have a link in the video description. If you already have this software, you can go ahead and open it up and it should prompt you to um, update it. So we'll go ahead and open it here. And I have not updated yet, so we'll go ahead and continue with the update. So it basically goes straight to the website and starts downloading the software. Uh, so we'll open that up when it's ready. So this is software version 5.71. And it was released, I believe, some on the Reddit post it said about a month ago, um, but on LG's website it says on December 22nd. Uh, I'm not sure where those dates got mixed up, but anyway, let's update it 5.71 if you're running Windows. Okay, so the on-screen control software should be updated now. Let's go ahead and open it up. And so we're greeted with basically, well, I could probably scale this a little bit better, but um, we're greeted with basically the same interface as before. Um, and it's prompting us that a new monitor firmware version is required. Um, so let's go ahead and run that, of course, because we'll obviously need that. And from my understanding, what this should do is it should uh, update the on-screen control built into the monitor. So you use the little um, stick on the bottom of the monitor and control the settings and enable an overclock which should get it up to 160 hertz okay so the firmware update is nearly complete it's at 100 percent the monitor just restarted um, this firmware update took nearly 35 minutes uh, much longer than i was expecting for just a monitor firmware update but uh, anyway it seems to be just about wrapped up by now it's still well now it's done All right, so it says monitor software update has been completed. Please unplug the cable from your monitor and restart it again. Okay, so it's asking us to unplug and replug in the USB cable, not the DisplayPort cable. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, I do have some USB devices connected to my monitor. It says that they might not work if it's not unplugged and replugged in. So they seem to be working anyway, but I will go ahead and do as they say. All right, so I went ahead and unplugged it and replugged it back in. Let's go ahead and check out the on-screen control. I haven't restarted this yet, uh, this program, um, but let's see if we do get an option for overclocking on here. Um, where it says the software update for the monitor, uh, it looks like it's at 3.06 um, or 5.5 or 5.57. I'm not entirely sure uh, what either of those represent i'm not sure whether there's two different ones um but let's go ahead it doesn't look like there are any 
options here. Uh, but let's go ahead and check in the on-screen control for the display. So if we go here, go to settings. Um, so it's 144 hertz right now. Let's go ahead and see if there's nothing here. All right, so under game adjust, it does have an overclock option. We'll go ahead and flip that on. All right, so it is now at 160 hertz. Uh, it looks like the settings on Windows have changed. Um, let's go ahead and just check to see if there are any other new settings. I don't believe so, but oh, all that looks the same. All of that looks the same. Okay, so we are running at 160 hertz, it appears. Let's go ahead and check change some scaling stuff here and change that back right away. I do run this at 100% scaling and it does look just fine. I know some people were wondering about that. 100% scaling on a 27 inch 4K monitor for most people should be just fine. Um, let's go ahead and check out the NVIDIA control panel. And as you can see right up here, it is showing 160 hertz. Um, we do also have 144 hertz as an option if we like to drop it down, um, but obviously we'll keep it at 160 hertz. Let's go ahead and check to see if we can get 10-bit color with 160 hertz. Does look like that is possible. So 160 hertz, 4K, 10-bit color. Uh, that is display stream compression basically to its limits, uh, which is pretty cool. So that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, everything seems to be just good. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll run the uh, UFO test here. And it is running at 160 frames per second, so that's great. Uh, it looks very good. Um, you know, whether you can tell the difference between 160 and 144, that's up to debate, um, you know, probably not, but if you're gonna be paying $800 for a monitor that is 4K, 160 hertz capable, why not bump it up to 160 hertz? I don't see why you would just leave that performance on the table, but, um, you know, I try to take advantage of every dollar that I spend and uh, having 160 hertz with this monitor is definitely one of those things. So that's it for this video. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. Uh, again, thanks to Reddit user Light Moisture for the recommendation on upgrading your DisplayPort cable. Uh, I'll have a link to that Amazon uh, DisplayPort cable in the video description if you need to order one. Um, otherwise, you will have likely have issues with games uh, opening uh, and being able to run at 160 frames per second. Anyway, that's it for this video. Uh, again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.